previously in Finero. I want to teach about the time dimension. Now, these are fourth dimensional realities of the spirit. The world is third dimension. The time dimension is the fourth dimension. When we study the Greek language, there are two words that define time. The first word in the Greek that defines time is chronos. And chronos means a specific amount of time. For example, a day, that hour, that minute, that second, all of that is chronos. And chronos is the idea in the world of men and how they relate with time. But there is also another definition of time, and that's what I want to touch most importantly, because you need to understand this, okay? It's called Kairos. Now, Kairos, the Greek, it means the appointed time in God or in the purposes of God. That spiritual moment, that particular season, Kairos also means harvest time. It's not in the realm of seed. It's in the realm of harvest time. In other words, Kairos relates with the harvest. It relates with the results. Most importantly, Kairos is the creating power of opportunity. Opportunity has a power. The creation of that opportunity for its power and nature to take course, to take action of events, human affairs, and life. That is in the realm of Kairos, not Kronos. So your next success is not in the realm of Kronos. It's in the realm of Kairos. Your next increase, your blessing, is in the realm of Kairos. When we're talking about waiting upon God, we wait upon God in the Kairos realm. Because in there is the appointed time, the spiritual moment, the God-ordained season, the harvest time for every seed sow. Kairos also is the definitive mark of discernment. You cannot discern without Kairos because Kairos has signs the bible says in matthew 16 verses 1 the pharisees with the sadducees came tempting and desired him that he would show them a sign from heaven and the bible says and he answered and said unto them "O ye hypocrites you can discern the face of the sky but ye cannot discern the signs of the kairos and jesus is trying to tell them this simple thing if you do not know the signs of chronos how can i even talk to you about the signs of heaven this comes first you must understand how the appointed times of the spirit work because if you don't understand the moments the seasons of the spirit what conversation has god got with you to tell you about the signs of the heavens how will you discern the signs of the heavens when you cannot understand the signs of the times of the spirit that is why he's trying to tell them because the moment the time the appointed season these are designers of the spirit without them you cannot know how to prepare yourself God has called us to bring to the redemption of time. If 2020 is a year of redemption, then we must know how to redeem time. Now the Bible says in Psalms 90, he says, teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts and to wisdom. The Hebrew word there for numbering of days is manao, which means to appoint, to account, to tell to prepare our days in other words there's a wisdom that comes to the heart that has known to number days but to number days is a divine teaching he did not say cause us he did not say remind us he says teach us appointing or to number days is the ability that is exercised by the mature spirit to be able to determine your days God has given you the ability, according to his word, to be able to determine how your next five years are going to look like. It's in you to appoint your days. But you must learn how. The Christian faith is not supposed to guess tomorrow. 
the Christian is supposed to speak tomorrow into existence. How were days made? God spoke days into being. When you understand what it means to be one with God, it means tomorrow you have the ability to speak into existence certain phenomena in your life and you'll see it come to pass when you understand who you are in God. It's a deliberate exercising of the spirit to learn how, but when you do, you change the ages. You change your times. You change the world. You impact your generation. Why? Because you have learned to speak into your day. You've learned to speak into your morning. You've learned to speak into your afternoons. You've learned to speak into your seasons. You've learned to speak into your experiences. You've learned to speak into your future. Learn to warn your chairs. Learn to warn your shoes. Learn to look at your clothes and tell them, watch me now. Because something is going to change in a few weeks, in a few years, and you will be there to witness in the mighty name of Jesus. Learn to look into the mirror and speak to yourself that the communication of your faith becomes effectual through the acknowledging of every good thing which is in you, which is in Christ. If God spoke these things into being, there is no other way. You must know how to seize that moment. You must know how to make that one prayer that changes your destiny forever. The first miracle was brought out of the person of God according to the faith of a woman who believed God. There is no delay for somebody who is ready to believe in the faith now. Now faith! is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Then by faith we understand that the worlds, the ages, the times were framed by the word of God so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. But he said that is in the realm of understanding. It's not a knowledge they can give you and you receive. It's an understanding that has to come to you by reason of use. That's why it tells you do not worry about tomorrow for tomorrow has its own to worry because chronos thinks for men which know how to seize kairos Ooh. somebody shout hallelujah when you know how to work with the appointed times of the spirit it means you will place burdens on the next days to produce and bring forth what you feel what you see by the spirit because kairos defines our experiences our experiences are our equipment for the equipping of the saints for the work of ministry to the edification of the body now the apostle has to be positioned there to equip fully for the timing the teacher the pastor the evangelist and everybody that is called must have that ability must have the ability to teach men the numbering of days and that is why i tell people it's important very very important to deal with divine instruction very carefully because god speaks in Kairos moments. He's a God of periods and timetables. He gave Kronos for the world. He gave you the believer Kairos. And the word of God is effective in Kairos. Kronos is simply a receiver, not a participator. Kairos is the ultimate participator in Logos. That is why Kairos is the mother of all Logos, Pathos and Ethos. Any manner of logic good thought, character, whether moral or spiritual. It is judged in the realm of Kairos, not Kronos. Kronos is relative. Kairos is not. It is definitive. It's distinctive. It's precise. That one works under all laws. And let me say this also. Every attack of a believer can only be in the realm of Kairos, not Kronos. And because Kairos is the realm of opportunity, so Satan attacks opportunity. But also, I realize by the word that to God, every attack of the devil is an opportunity for you, is a Kairos for you. When you understand that, you can be the happiest man in the midst of a storm. Because you know that he could not have attacked me if he did not design my time. Every temptation in the Kairos realm means that there is a design there by God to get you higher, to take you into a superior grace. God is raising a church that will pass through the hardest situation of life, celebrating and happy, knowing very well that he that began that work in your life, he will see to accomplishment to the day of Christ that is the author and the finisher of the faith, that is your beginning and the end. Somebody shout hallelujah.
Join our online family. Spread the love and follow us on our Facebook, Twitter and Instagram and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Finero, make manifest.